Hello, I'm Ryan from Ooze Nest. Thanks for joining us for another video on our YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell for notifications for future videos. In this week's how to, I'm going to show you how to make a sign on the Workbee CNC machine. The Workbee is a perfect addition to your workshop if you're looking to move into sign making. A lot of our customers and small businesses use the machine for just that. What we're going to start the video off with is how to surface your material and then we're going to move on to the different aspects of the project where we're going to add some tool paths, add some finishing details, add some wax oil finish and then we'll be left with a finished project at the end. As you can see here we've got quite a few items laid out in front of us for this project. We're going to put a full list in the description of everything that we've got here that we're using. It's also worth noting that you want to invest in a nice pair of safety goggles when using your CNC machine. This is just going to protect your eyes from anything that is flying away from the machine such as debris. We're now going to move on to the first stage of this project where I'm going to go through the software to run this first toolpath. So I'm going to get this piece of wood clamped into place and show you how we do a surfacing toolpath in our CAM program. As you can see in our Vectric software, we're just setting up under the job setup tab. I've got a single sided job and I've entered all the dimensions of our workpiece into the job size section. I've also set our Z0 position and our XY dating position. I'm just going to click OK. Now that we've got our square, we're going to run our first toolpath, which is going to be our pocket toolpath. So for this, I'm simply just going to create a vector that's just larger than our piece of material. So I've just put the dimensions in here and create that. As I can see, I've got that anchored and centered. I'm just going to close that. And then just by clicking on there, I can open up the toolpath tab, just pin that into place. I can show you how I've set that up as a pocket toolpath. So I've selected that vector. I've set the cut depth to one mil as if it is too low in some areas. I can run that toolpath once again. I'm just going to make sure that I've got all my settings here. Selected my tool, so I'm going to use a quarter inch end mil. And just calculate that. And that's just going to bring our toolpath up on the screen. So I can preview just to see how that's going to remove the material from our piece of hardwood and that's the first toolpath complete and now going to move on to the next toolpath once we run that on the machine. Now that that toolpath is complete, you can see we've got a nice flat surface on our piece of project wood. I've done this using our quarter inch down cut bit available from our store. I've also switched that our end mill to a 132 inch bit. We're going to use this to add some text to this piece of wood. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the Canon software and we can move on to the next stage. Now that we've completed that surfacing toolpath and we've got our project wood nice and even, I'm just going to deselect that toolpath and go back onto our 2D view. Here I've just created some text using the text tab in the create vectors section and you can experiment with all the different fonts that are in this database. We'll go over to our toolpaths tab. Now I've just created a pocket toolpath for that text. I'm just going to go over to the tool and here I'm using a 132 inch bit. You can experiment as well with different end mills. This is just going to be the correct one to pick up all the detail of our text. So I've entered all our speeds and feeds and past steps and step over. I'm just going to press OK on that and calculate. Here we can see that toolpath projected onto the workpiece. I'm just going to preview that. And I'm happy with the way that's going to come out. It's going to pick up all the detail of our lettering and that's just at a 2 mil past step. If you've got other Wood, you could experiment with different depths and layers for your text or different end mills which will give different effects but I'm going to go with this square end mill just to give us a nice clean outline on our project. So I'm just going to close that and we can save that toolpath, export it using the GRBL post processor and get that running on the Workbee CNC machine.
As you can see, our toolpath's now complete and we're left with some really nice text. We've just used the pocket toolpath, which I've gone over in the CAM software. We're now gonna add a couple more details to this sign and I'm gonna show you how to do that in the CAM software. I've also switched that to a 1 8 ball nose end mill to run this next toolpath. I've now created a vector to look like pores and for this I'm going to use a ball nose end mill just to give it an effect that looks like a pore print has been pressed into the material. So here we can see I've set up our 1 8 two flute end mill. I've got all the speeds and feeds allocated to this correct bit. I'm just going to press OK. I'm now going to calculate that toolpath and again we can just look at that in the preview. And as you can see, we've just got that nice radius on the pores to give it a different effect to the text. So again, I'm just gonna save that onto our computer, and we can run that on the machine. Now that all our toolpaths are complete, you can see we're left with a nice finished sign. We're gonna take this project a step further. You could leave it just as it's come off the machine, but we're gonna remove any tool marks with some sandpaper and add some nice wax to this piece to really make the color come out of the grain of the wood. So let's just prepare a nice clean area and we can get back on with finishing this project. I hope you found this video useful on sign making on the Work CNC machine. I'm really happy with the way our project come out for such a basic design. The Work is more than capable of handling more intricate designs for sign making, so let us know how you get on in your workshop. Again, please give this video a like and subscribe for future videos.